The first example on compound interest says that Raphael invests 18,000 Rand for six years at 15% per annum, that BA stands for per annum, compounded annually. So it's compound interest. And every year, that annually means yearly. The interest is calculated on a yearly basis. So this is not simple interest. The, when the interest is calculated yearly, we refer to it as compound interest. Find the future value of this investment after the six years, as well as the interest he receives. So there, there are two things that we need to calculate. What is the future value and what is the total interest he will receive? He will invest 18,000 18, for six years at 15% per annum. Let's calculate this. Like in simple interest, we used a formula to calculate the simple interest, and we're going to use an, a formula to calculate compound interest. So it's very important that you remember which one is which. Compound interest, the formula that we use is A equal to P, you will agree, very similar to our simple interest, because the symbols means the same. P, the present value, the amount that I will invest. A, the amount I will get back, I will receive at the end of the period. Now, if it's simple interest, or compound interest, that A and P stands for the same thing. The only difference is how we calculate it. Now, you'll remember in simple interest, it was 1 plus Ni. In compound interest, is 1 plus I to the power of N. So that I, exactly the same as in simple interest, it is the R divided by the 100. The N, the number of years. And when I calculate this, it will give me the compound interest on this amount. Now, let's write down the information. First of all, 18,000 Rand was invested here. It was invested for a time period of six years. That was what was given to us in the question. And the interest was given to us. And the R is 15%. Remember, you can't substitute that. You must use I. So I, therefore, will be 15 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.15. Please remember, you're not allowed to round it off. Now we will substitute that to find our total amount or the amount at the end of the period. So my P is the 18,000 Rand. 1 plus my I, which is 0 0,15. My exponent is my N, 6 years. We take our calculators, and now we calculate that. So very similar again to what we did. Only difference is now the N is an exponent, and it's not multiplied with I, like in simple interest. So if we calculate, we say 18,000 bracket 1 plus 0 0.15 we close the bracket and now you use your button on your calculator where you raise it to the power and you will find that just below your arrow key and the exponent then is 6 you push equal and your answer then is 41 635 0.09 so the amount at the end of the period, or the future value, is 41,635 Rand and 9 cents. So that 18,000 Rand will grow to this amount. The next part of the question was, what was the interest? Now, of course, to calculate that is extremely easy. We just take this full amount, because this includes the interest. And we subtract the amount that was invested. So from this answer that we just calculated, if it's still in your calculator, leave it there. Makes life easier. And you just subtract 18,000. And your interest then, 23,635 rand and 9 cents. So the two answers to the question then. First answer, what is the? Future value is that 41,635 rand and 9 cents. What was the interest? 
you subtract the 18,000 because that was the money you invested. So that is your interest. Let's discuss the next question.